How's it going guys? It's a quick video to show you one of the ways you can power your Vox VT40X. These amplifiers take DC input. They come with an AC to DC adapter that's like 120 volt AC to 19 volt DC. But I've tested it down to 12 volts and anywhere in between it works fine. And in this case I actually have it powered by a Ryobi battery which is somewhere between 17 to 20 volts roughly. Um, so here's the trick. This is a, this is a USB-C cable and an adapter that calls for 20 volts from the USB-C protocol and it has so it has a USB-C input here and it's got a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter standard DC barrel size output and then I have an adapter here which is 5.1 5.5 by 2.1 the standard size and it goes into the Sony 6 millimeter by 4.3 it's not Sony specific, but it works on Sony laptops and it also works on this amplifier. So that's the DC barrel plug size. This is the style that has a little tiny pin in the middle. And that pin is actually not carrying the voltage. The uh, negative is on the outside and the positive is on the inside of this barrel on the metal on the inside. So when you're trying, if you're trying to check for voltage with your voltmeter, remember to check that out. But easy enough to check that you're getting 20 volts, you just put your negative probe here and your positive probe in the center, and you'll see that you have about 20 volts on the other end of this. Because USB-C protocol can call for like 5, 9, 12, 15, or 20 volts. And since these amps run nicely on 19, 20 volts, that works perfectly. And you can use, you know, if you need a 10-foot cord, whatever. Now you can power this amplifier, which only takes about 8 or 9 watts, from any pretty much 12 volt power source, especially if you're gonna use something like this, for example, this is just a 12 or 24 volt adapter that adapts to USB uh, PD protocol. It has the ability to call for that 20 volts. So you don't really need anything fancy. And like, I've never seen this amp take more than nine watts, even when I'm cranking on it. So you don't need like a fancy, you know, 100 watt PD or anything like that, like you might need for a laptop. In this case, it jams pretty loud um, on any, any um, size PD port. And I got this, this is a cable I got from Timu for like $2. And this is an adapter I got from Timu for about $3, although sometimes it goes out of, out of stock. Um, they have different various sizes. And if you do have a laptop that takes 100 watts or 60 watts or less, you can use this. They have different size DC barrel plugs that will go right into your laptop, or you can use this in with an adapter. So that's what it looks like in the end. And it's easy, just push this right in the back in the same slot, plug this into any USB-C port, and your amp will be good to go. As a side note, in this case, I also I have this amp powered by a Ryobi battery. Um, because the Ryobi battery ranges from like 17 to 20 volts, that's the perfect voltage range for these amps. I happen to have an little adapter that allows you to get the positive negative off that Ryobi battery, and that worked out pretty well. I also took the same voltage from that Ryobi battery and put it into a little DC to DC adapter to give me 9 volts so I could power my pedals from the same battery. That way it's just one simple thing. I'd like to get a nicer, neater uh, adapter for this, but it works and uh, it's very portable and you can play for, I would say, about 7 hours, something like that roughly on a battery, 7 to 8 hours on one of these 4 amp hour batteries and play as long play as loud as you want it doesn't really seem to make any difference it sounds great all right guys thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know post them up thank you